Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jasmine. So today I have got another Planet Zoo video for you today. And this is my second build using the new Africa DLC that came out not too long ago. You may have already seen my rhino enclosure build, which I made for the southern white rhinos that also came with the pack. And that build is just off to the side of this enclosure. If you were interested in what that might look like, yeah, you can kind of see it when we swivel around as we're building in this video. So yeah, I'll link that down below if you're interested in watching that. But in that video, I mentioned that I don't normally post this often. If you follow my channel you might have noticed that this is like the third video in a row in the space of a few days and normally I just post weekly so that's just because I've taken a couple of days off so that I can enjoy building with a new African pack as soon as it came out because I was super super excited by it mainly because it's got one of my absolute favourite animals in the game the fennec fox which obviously we haven't had up until now so I'm really excited to add that. Surprisingly I haven't built it an enclosure yet is actually going to be the third animal from this DLC that I will build a habitat and that's just because I thought that the rhinos and the meerkats would fit in better in certain areas within this zoo that I'm currently building in which if you don't already know is called a Nami Zoo and the theme is basically a contemporary African grass and zoo so yeah all the architecture is using this sort of white and light timber colour scheme and yeah it's all quite Quite contemporary looking and I'm really really enjoying building in it actually it's a reasonably new zoo I haven't done too many builds in it but I think it looks really nice so far so I hope you're enjoying it as much as I am but yeah I'm just feeling really really inspired with this theme and especially since this new pack came out I'd already started this zoo and I thought it was the perfect zoo to add all of these animals into so yeah I can't wait to add the fennec foxes too I mentioned in my previous video that I'm probably gonna add them alongside the aardvarks in like a nocturnal house. I'm not quite sure where I'll put that yet but it'll probably be the other side of the rhinos I'm thinking or maybe this side I'm not too sure yet. But yeah in terms of the pack then the meerkats were definitely one of the main or most exciting animals that came with the pack I think. I think we, we've definitely needed them in the game for a long time so I'm really really excited to have them and it's just nice to have quite a small animal that requires quite a small enclosure be added because we don't have too many of them in the game and it's just nice to have that balance sometimes because it just adds a bit of variety. Having said that I did actually find this enclosure really really tricky to do just because everything's so tightly squeezed in together so detail is super super important and taking screenshots and things like that was actually quite hard because you have to get some really really good angles in order to make a screenshot look good and yeah it was it was surprisingly difficult to make a small enclosure look as pretty as a big one just because you have more options in terms of scenery with big enclosures so yeah it definitely was tricky and I think the main issue was I sort of messed up from the start with the shape of the pathing and that sort of determined what the shape of the enclosure was going to look like and that ended up being a really really weird shape you can see it's kind of square but it's also curved as well and I thought that was going to be a good idea I thought it would work well because I thought that that would be like more of a contemporary sort of sweeping look and it might suit it but I don't think I pulled it off very well. I might go back and sort of just neaten up some of the sides and make sure that the shapes are the best that they can possibly be just because that back wall is just a little bit odd in terms of the shape of it. It sort of curves one way and then starts curving the other way and it just looks a bit weird so I might neaten that up. And the other part of it that looks a bit weird was this indoor area that I I'm working on now you can kind of see that it's not perfectly square <laughs> which was intentional I did intend for that to be the case I th and I don't think it looks too bad to be honest but I think when it's next to the other shorter walls that don't sort of curve in the right way it does look a bit weird and also this is not because of the meerkats at all but I had a load of trouble making this backstage area for the staff and I couldn't work out what why I I was having issues because the staff couldn't get into the enclosure properly 
because I added some doors and for some reason I know that they can travel through the doors when you place them outside of a habitat but I think I've never ex experienced this before but I think when you place doors inside a habitat the keepers suddenly can't use them which is really really odd and it very much confused me so I'm not quite sure how I will fix that I will probably fix it off camera or in a different episode or something like that because yeah I'm not sure how I'm gonna do it yet I was having a load of trouble off camera trying to work it out but I've uploaded the blueprint for this enclosure how it is on the steam workshop already in case you guys wanted to download it straight away so that is linked in the description box below if you want to go and check that out all of my builds on my channel are on the workshop I think as far as I know I've linked them all in the individual speed build videos so yeah go and check them out if you want to download any of them as well but yeah I think what I might have to do with this enclosure is move the habitat entrance door to one of what is currently the normal construction doors or like purely aesthetic doors that I've added I think there's two there's one to the indoor enclosure and then one to the outdoor enclosure there's two of those doors and neither of them work <laughs> so I'd have to move the official habitat enclosure door to I think I would put it to the entrance to the outside enclosure and then I will switch out that little small entrance that the meerkats use and make that bigger so that a keeper can walk into the indoor enclosure instead yes because I think that would that would make the most sense but if you guys have any better ideas or sort of fixes to the problem that I mentioned with the doors please let me know if I'm doing something really really stupid then yeah that's entirely plausible so help me out in the comments <laughs> if you can but other than those little things that I mentioned about this build I am reasonably happy with how it turned out I like the colours and the theme and the general shape I just yeah I feel like with all of my builds I always want to go back and fix like make little tweaks after making a video after like taking the screenshots and watching all the footage I just suddenly decide that, <laughs> that I could have done better but it's too late by then so yeah I still like it though I, I do so I've obviously been watching tons of Planet Zoo content since this pack came out, as I'm sure many of you are also doing. And I think it was in a palsy video for a meerkat enclosure he built. He mentioned that he'd heard loads of stories about meerkats being evil or not very nice creatures with kind of mean personalities or something like that. I can't remember exactly what he said. <laughs> and also whilst I was prepping for this video, I noticed that the group terminology for meerkats was either a gang or a mob and mixed with what Palsy said I thought that is definitely like a sign that they might not be very nice animals so I did a little bit of digging because I was really really intrigued by this idea and according to the internet this is all I could find it says that meerkats are known to banish their children prevent their daughters from mating and even kill their own grandchildren and the reasons for this apparently is because by only having one pair reproduced the meerkats can ensure that there will be enough resources for the group as a whole so yeah they're kind of little mean animals not as sweet as we once thought perhaps but I'd love to know if any of you guys have any sort of evil meerkat stories if you fancy writing them in the comment section below please let me know because I just found this hilarious because they're so cute and you just wouldn't know it would you although having said that I used to be the biggest fan or I still am the biggest fan of Meerkat Manor which if you don't know is like a documentary show I can't remember when it was out it was when I was a kid I used to watch it so it must be really really old but I think it might still be going on I think it's part of like a university study of like animal behavior and they sort of follow this specific group of meerkats and document their behavior obviously and then in the tv show they sort of add narration to what's going on and it was basically basically like a soap opera this program the amount of family drama that meerkats have is hilarious I remember in that show one of the meerkats I can't remember what their name was they, they all had like really fancy names like Romeo and Mozart but yeah one of them got banished on the show from the the little family pack or mob I should say or gang <laughs> 
which was heartbreaking. But I think that's quite common in a lot of animals, that certain animals get banished from the pack. So that didn't stand out at the time, you know, for me to consider them particularly mean animals. But maybe they are, maybe they are. Let me know down in the comments. And let me know as well if you watched Meerkat Manor because, oh my God, that show is amazing. So it would be interesting to see how many like countries it was shown in and, you know, yeah, how many people are familiar with it because I used to be obsessed with it. I loved that show. At the minute, you can see me making the indoor section for the meerkats. So I'm adding a load of these sort of fake plaster rocks. I use the fake zoo recolorable rock items for the indoor section and then I use some more realistic rocks for the outdoor section because I figured that, yeah, there's no way these rocks in this indoor section would be real. They would definitely be fake. But then in the outdoor area, I thought it might be nice to keep with the savannah theme. So I use the real rocks out there so just to match the rest of the zoo because I've used those rocks elsewhere in the zoo. And yeah, the, the meerkats can't actually use those rocks in the indoor area. It's kind of just for aesthetic purposes. I do add a load of bedding onto the floor and they did curl up and sleep on the bedding. But if you look at the animals traversable area, they can't climb up to any of those rocks, which is a bit of a shame because it would have been nice. And I feel like they should, once I've finished, they should be able to climb up some of them. But the rocks are always a bit dodgy with traversable area. You know, the animals can never move around Around them the way that you think they should be able to so oh well but they they look nice so I've just kept them how they are but yeah I'm also really really pleased with the digging animations that came with the meerkats as always I will add like screenshots and also some cinematic video shots of the animals in the enclosure and just the enclosure in general at the end of the video so stick around in case you're interested in watching some of those but yeah one of the main new animations that we got in this this pack is obviously digging. So I know meerkats definitely dig and they create those little burrows and apparently they can't escape through making those burrows but they do sort of pop up in a different area in the same habitat and create a new burrow and it's super super cute to watch them do that because yeah the little heads poke out out of nowhere and just yeah they look really really sweet. And also the little baby meerkats look adorable. I'm not sure if I got too much footage of the baby meerkats. I did try and I waited for them to have babies specifically and then I did try and get some good footage of them but they really weren't interested in doing anything for me. They didn't want to show off any of their animations that they had. One of the babies literally just stood there completely still for ages and I was like filming it for ages waiting for it to do something and it just wasn't cooperating with me. And the same for the log enrichment item as well. I've seen some really really pretty animations of meerkats and the fennec foxes like walking through the log yeah sort of rolling over in the log and playing with it and they look so cute and I was waiting for ages like these meerkats kept walking up to the log teasing me like absolutely taunting me and I thought it was about to go in there so I just set the camera up ready it took me a while to get it all ready and get a nice angle and then they just walked away and that happened like 10 or 15 times I was like oh please <laughs> Will you just use this log? But they didn't want to, and that's fine. They don't have to if they don't want to. <laughs> but I think I did get a shot of them playing with a bubble maker, and also I couldn't tell if they were playing with a tennis ball or not, or if they just like ran into it and it just flew in the other direction. But that happened, so maybe they were playing with it, who knows? <laughs> possibly in my head they were so I included some footage of that which is quite cute anyway so yeah stick around for that at the end if you're interested but yeah that's pretty much it in terms of the voiceover for this video from me like I said keep your eyes peeled for some more Planet Zoo content in the next few days I hopefully will be releasing that Fennec Fox enclosure that I mentioned so not sure if I'll do the aardvox in the same video or split it up into two different videos but that's the plan for me to create some sort of nocturnal house for both of those animals. Yeah, I'm not sure how I'll manage it yet, but that's what I'm going to be creating next for this zoo as well, like I said. 
So yeah, if you like this video, please like, comment and subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the build down in the comments below and what you think of the meerkats and the new pack. And like I said, yeah, if you have any evil meerkat stories, definitely add them in the comments below because I would love to hear them. And I might even shout some of you out in the next video if you have any good stories, because that would be hilarious. Oh yeah, and let me know if you have a fix for that habitat door problem that I was mentioning earlier. I honestly don't know if it was me or if it's just a feature in the game that we can't use doors within habitats or what's going on. But yeah, it's really annoying if I can't have those doors working properly because it'll just look really weird if I don't. <laughs> but anyway, that's it from me. I really, really hope you liked the build. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye guys.